Model coverage and Simulink coverage helps you detect untested elements of your design or unexecuted simulation pathways in your Simulink model. At the end of a simulation run, you can view the model coverage results, either in an HTML report or in the model itself, as you can see here. The model objects in green indicate that they received full coverage by the test inputs, while those in red were not fully covered. This transition in green in the state flow chart, for example, is fully covered, which means that the condition on this transition evaluated to both true and false at least once during simulation. You can review the analysis results in a detailed HTML report as well. The covered summary displays basic model information and coverage options, followed by a summary of the results arranged by hierarchy. The details section provides additional information on the results for each coverage metric. What you see here are the coverage details for a MATLAB function block in the model. The code in red are the lines that did not receive full coverage. The decisions analyze table provides more information on this and highlights the decisions that did not occur even once. You can easily trace back to the block, state, or transition in the model that the report is referring to. Model coverage provides you the flexibility to choose specific sections in your model that you want to obtain coverage for and customize your coverage reports. You can also automate the entire coverage analysis using command line APIs. You can find and eliminate design errors at an early stage of development using coverage analysis.